Imagine slingshot rockets flying through the air, marshmallows catapulting across the floor, the tangy smell of vinegar and baking soda experiments wafting around the room, and the pure sound of children's laughter ringing in your ears. This is what a typical STEM Academy workshop feels like. Hello, everyone. My name is Neha Holkund. I'm a junior at Tesla STEM High School and the co-founder of STEM Academy. STEM Academy is an organization that aims to inspire, educate, and empower students into STEM. We all know that there is an ever-growing need for a STEM workforce and that an early education to STEM fosters STEM readiness later on. However, not everyone is able to access the STEM education, and that's where STEM Academy comes in. We do workshops and hackathons to provide STEM education for all and make sure that all of them are free to provide equal opportunity. I co-founded STEM Academy with my peer, Ann Lee, who's also a junior at Tesla STEM High School, with the help of our teacher advisor, Melissa Renchi, as well as our two fast pitch mentors, Mr. Trip Jarden and Dr. Knight. Between the two of us, Anne does the robotics and engineering portion, whereas I do the biology and chemistry portion. So together, we all encompass STEM. You might be thinking, OK, so they teach kids STEM. Who does it nowadays? With online resources like Khan Academy and Code.org, there are countless ways to learn online. And that's true. But STEM Academy is different in that we are absolutely hands-on. We don't just teach our kids how to code, we teach them how to code robots. And that's what really gets the kids interested. You know, I remember after one of our workshops, a parent came up to me and told me that, you know, Neha, like, this Christmas, my son didn't ask me for a toy, he asked me for a circuit board. And I think this really shows the impact that we have that online resources simply don't. However, what I think is the most important part of our organization is our student-to-student -student mentoring. And by this, I mean that our students are not taught by teachers or adults. They're taught by people like me and Anne, high schoolers with a passion for science who just want to share it with others. And us high schoolers know what it's like to be in our student shoes because we were just in them a couple years ago. And it's not just the students who benefit from this, but the high schoolers as well. They have a chance to earn community service hours as well as make a real change in the students' perspectives towards STEM. And what we've created with this program is a very self-sustaining model because even after Anne and I graduate, there will be other high schoolers to take our place. And we hope that the students that we teach today will become the high school leaders of tomorrow. So as we started running our workshops in the Puget Sound area, what we realized is that the communities that we really wanted to impact were those who didn't have access to STEM education. You may remember two years ago, the town of Darrington, about an hour away from here, kind of close to Arlington, was hit with a devastating landslide. Over 80 people were killed, and many homes were destroyed. In an effort to rebuild the community, local government representatives started the Darrington STEM Initiative to introduce STEM education into the curriculum. And that's where we came in. We ran workshops for the students there and were met with great success. I remember that after one of our workshops, one eighth grade girl came up to me and told me that before the workshop, she had never written a line of code before. But by the end, she had made her own simple video game and wanted to become a programmer when she grew up. So over the last year, we've had tremendous success being able to run over 10 workshops and teach over 200 students in many different locations, like the Darrington School District, the Puget Sound area, and churches, summer camps, schools, and even held a workshop in India. And we've been able to do all of this on under a budget of $800. So when you crunch the numbers, this comes down to about $80 per workshop and $4 per student per workshop. And what this really creates... <laughs> thank you. What this really creates is a very simple model for scale, because the more funds we have, the more students we're able to impact. It's as easy as that. Our next steps really include hackathons, because what we want to be able to do is teach students that code, coding is fun and it's something that they can do in a friendly and fun environment. 
And we know that the, the way to be able to achieve these hackathons is through corporate tie-ups so that corporations can sponsor these and help the students learn. However, if we look at our long-term outlook, we can see that we want to scale. And by this, I mean that we've developed a curriculum that can be replicated across the nation. We want to teach other high schoolers how to use the curriculum that we have through the use of webinars and live sessions. So that STEM Academy can become a multi-chapteral organization that will continue on, even after Anne and I graduate. However, for this to happen, we need your help. We want advisors for our team to help us gain these corporate tie-ups, to help us gain these grants, to make sure that our programs can continue and that we can continue to change students' lives. Because our grassroots level initiative is making a real change in students' perspectives. So please, join us and help us to inspire, educate, and empower. Thank you. <laughs>